We all know that rebar modeling is a time consuming, tedious job. It requires an experienced person to do it. My aim today is to place the rebars in these walls using the Revit plugin InstaWall. I will show you how to configure the tool using the dialog box. Then I will demonstrate how the design change is taken care of in different walls. Open this second tool from InstaWall menu. Select the rebar cover. By selecting these check boxes we can opt in or opt out for those type of bars. In this section, we will configure settings for vertical and horizontal rebars. Now I will configure settings for the additional vertical bars and the anchor bars. Let the slab thickness be 300. These anchor bars would be anchored in this slab. You can select this mirror option so that you have anchor bars on both the sides. Hit the OK button. Select the wall. In this wall, these are the anchor bars. These are the 16 mm bars at the wall edge. Two bars on each side. These are the vertical and the horizontal, U, shape bars. Now, suppose, I want to add rebars to this wall which has a beam of depth 250. So, to accommodate this beam, go back to the dialog box by pressing the escape key. Put the value for the beam depth and hit the OK button. Select these walls. You can see that the rebar distribution is from the beam. Suppose, these walls have a different design. To add the rebars with a different design, just press the escape key. Go back to the box. Make the changes. Hit the OK button and select the walls. Thus, with minimal efforts, you can place rebars in hundreds of walls. Fantastic, I love this. In the next video, I will add rebars to the wall which has an opening. Hoping to meet you there. Until then, goodbye.